Bill Foster is an ordinary man. Where are you going? Going home. Not this way or not. Why not? Metro rail construction, that's why not. Living in the everyday world. I don't suppose you have a couple of bucks you can give me. It would really help me out. If you give me your address, I'll mail it back on us. A patient man. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a ham and cheese omelet or lamb fries. I'm sorry. We stopped serving breakfast at 11.30. Who's running out of patience? I guess I'll change for the phones. A peaceful man. No, it's I have to buy something. Who's about to be pushed? 85 cents, 85 cents. That doesn't give me enough money for the phone call. Drink, 85 cents. You pay a go. A little too far. I stay. You mean you stole your baseball bat, but he paid for the soda. Just standing up for my rights. As a consumer. Oh, this guy's discriminating. What kind of vigilante are you? I'm just trying to get home to my little girl's birthday. Give us your briefcase. If everybody will stay out of my way. Here, you want a briefcase? Here's my briefcase. Oh, there's the briefcase. Hurry, wait, 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 wait. Then nobody will get hurt. Warner Brothers presents. Hey, would you get off my golf course? Yeah. The story of an everyday guy who refused. Baby, to take it one more day. So we got a nutcase with a bag full of guns. He's in Hollywood right now, and he's heading west. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but there's other people waiting to use the phone here. Now, if you go up against this guy, be careful. I think it's out of order. Somebody in a white shirt and tie gunned down a phone with three blocks in the whammy burger. Michael Douglas. In America, we have the freedom of speech. Come on, I want to be a part of it. I buy a ticket. The right to disagree. Robert Duvall. I know who this guy is. In a Joel Schumacher film. What are you doing to the street? We're fixing it. What the hell does it look like? See, I don't think anything's wrong with the street. I think you're just trying to justify your inflated budgets. Well, I guess so. I'll give you something to fix. What are you... Hey, Charlie! Hey! Oh, Falling down. Let's call it a day. Come on. I'm the bad guy? A tale of urban reality. This is Isaiah 4 and 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. First and foremost, let you all praises on the Lord to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash, the Barn City Apostles, and Yodas, a great millstone. Salutation to you all, keep pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity. Presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, we who already live salute you. And um, I just want to go into this lesson. And uh, by the way, fair use, fair use. Let me. All right, fair use. I'm using this footage under the Fair Use Act. Um, I'm not profiting from this footage. I'm using this footage for educational pur purposes only. All right, in good faith, this work contains fair use of copyrighted and non-copyrighted images from the public domain and the web of non-commercial and non-profit educational purposes yada 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 all right fair use all right mm, okay so yeah i'm not i'm not uh profiting from this footage so yeah moving on all right and um that was a clip from the movie um falling down <sighs> i believe it came out like in the 80s or the early 90s but um about a edomite you know blue collar edomite man you know basically getting screwed over by his own society his own government you know couldn't see his kid when he wanted to basically uh job fired him pretty much you know the typical uh joe six pack low level edomite right which is very disgruntled and angry in in the times we're in because he sees that his white privilege is being taken away right because these small hats these j double o's right they really robbed you took all your real wealth gold silver and gave you debt notes all right and um when they, uh, as they took over the whole world, took all your rights, okay, 
put you into slavery and yeah, made you a debt slave, okay? And they hoarded all the riches to themselves. And they gave you, and to pacify you, to keep you from revolting and keep your mouth closed and make you shut the hell up and take it, they gave you what is called white privilege, all right? And you so-called white people, see, white privilege was for the low-level Edomites, you know? Uh, um, the banking five and Flemings, the Rothschilds, the, 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 the Rockefellers, the Gettys, DuPonts, the Beers, Schiffs, um, you name it, these rich, small hat families, all right, they hoarded the blessing to themselves, all right, they hoarded, they hoarded the wealth to themselves, all right, and gave you the crumb of white supremacy, and you've used it to the fullest. All right, now you got these so-called white people um, saying, like, look, it, it's not us and versus you. It's not white versus black. You know, it's just no such a thing as either. Um, it's the it's us versus the elites now. Well, the elites wasn't the ones lynching us, okay? All right, at least not uh, wholesale. It was you low-level Edomites, man. You were doing the dirty work, man. All right. So, yeah, <laughs> you're all going into slavery. And you all got to pay, man. And uh, the funny thing is we're seeing this so-called white man go down, which is what that movie was about. man. All right. All these people that are, have hated us are being brought down, man. You know, matter of fact, let me get another scripture. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and upon them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right? <laughs> so the Lord's uh, at the tables are turning, man. And just the other day, I was riding down the street. And uh, I rode past uh, Edomite on a corner with his shirt off. And I, I believe I heard the dude say, yell nigger. And he was at the corner looking mad as hell with his damn shirt open and shit. You know, through, you know. And these Edomites are through, man. You know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's spiritual because, look, the nigga knows his kingdom's going down. He's mad and he's lashing out, man. You know. <laughs> and it's a funny thing to see, man. You know, he has no other recourse, you know. So he's losing his kingdom. He's losing his so-called white privilege. And he's angry. He's mad. You know, that's what that movie was about, falling down. Because his devil's going down, man. And at the same time as he's going down, he still has that hate in him. Um, this is Job 20 and 5. This is Job 24, Salaki. Knowest not thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? And that moment is coming to an abrupt end, man. All right. The Lord has, has uh, set his bounds that he cannot pass. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? So this is where he's going, man. So on top of him losing his white privilege, seeing Jake taking the best of his women and, 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 and having babies and, you know, looking damn good doing it, okay? <laughs> He, he, he's faced with the end of his rulership. And the world is telling him that he's the wicked. He's the, he has to watch the prophets, man. The prophets are telling him and exposing him, man. So all this is, <clears throat> is laid upon him as he's going down, man. <clears throat> this nigga's getting ready to lash out. <clears throat> Excuse me. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away 
as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. So you're not going to be in the fatness of the earth no more. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Right? So, hey, his bones are full of the sins of his youth, man. You're carrying those with you into the grave, man. So as you're going down, you, your hatred, your anger your towards us is going down with you, man. <laughs> as he descends into perdition, you know, the wicked, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it not, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. So he still has the curses. He still has the cursings of Jacob in his mouth, man. And as the scripture says, against any of the children of Israel should not a dog move his tongue, man, against man or beast, man. All right? But he's still going to go out. Nigger! <laughs> that hate. Here it is. Your elites are the ones fucking you over. Your government screwed you over, sold you out a long time ago. All right? But you still have that hate for Jacob, man. So you're all confused. You don't know where to fight your government or fight Jacob, man. And then in your mind, you know, in order to beat your, if you want to even have a chance to to beat your government in, in any civil war, you're going to need the help of Jake. <laughs> so you need Jake. You know, you're the horse leech. We're the horse. The leech needs the horse. The horse doesn't need the leech, man. Okay, as Christian says, uh, um, it talks about, um, it says the horse leech have two sisters crying, give, give. Uh, you're the parasite. You've been living off the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, man. You use the southern kingdom to build your kingdom, and you use the northern kingdom to maintain it. All right? And the southern kingdom. All right? You can't survive without us. All right. Yeah, we built this kingdom for you, man. Yet his meat is in his yet his meat in his bowels is turned. It is the gall of asps within him. All right, so you're getting ready to vomit up everything that you stole. He has swallowed down riches and shall vomit them up again. Yahweh shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poisons, poison of asps. The viper's tongue shall slay him. Okay. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. All right. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's spiritual because you're being slayed, you know, by your own tongue too. You know, your your, uh, your other serpents, the whistleblowers, they're all exposing you. Your own people are exposing you, man. All right? <laughs> all right? And Yahweh Shah is even likened unto a viper. Just, you know, just to point that out. You know, side note, you know, he's likened unto a viper. And right now, he's fighting with you, against you, with the sword of his mouth, which is the prophets, man. You know? So it's funny, you know, how words can really hurt. They got this saying, um, sticks and stones may break my bones, but the words will never hurt me, man. But you're being slayed by the tongue, man. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein. So... You're going to give up everything you stole, man, which is the whole earth, because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor, because he have violently taken away a house which he builded not. Surely he should not feel quietness in his belly. He should not save off that which he desired. And you're not feeling quietness in your belly now, man. 
All right, you can't be at peace, man. <laughs> Scripture says, when you cease to spoil, you shall be spoiled. So you can't put that sword down. All right, you have to, you have to go to World War Three. You have to do these things because the Lord says so. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And that that, that uh, word for wicked is the Hebrew word, Imal, which means the laborers, all right? They're going to want, hey, because the scriptures uh, in the second Ezra, it's, it talks about how they shall not regard their kings nor princes, man. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. All right, so these people are going to want to get their hands on these elected officials, these police officers, anybody who would have, that has anything to do with the government. You're going to be, you're going to be a target in these last days, man. These people are going to want a piece of your ass, man. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Right. So while you're devouring and uh, attempting to uh, well mainly with this MOTB, all right, this micro C hip that you're gonna put in the people, you know, to try to be a god, the Lord's gonna rain it upon you, man. You know, right, right, right while you think your um, enterprise has been crowned with success. The Lord is going to show up and destroy your ass. He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. Ultimately, you're going to be um, nuked off the face of the earth. It is drawn. It cometh out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. And that's that nuclear blast, man which is ultimately going to cap off your destruction. All right. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. It's going to go real ill with these people that are here in Babylon the Great, man. It's going to go ill with you, man. You're going to die in this giant shop shopping mall, man. And the Lord's going to, you know, says the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine, man. The Lord's going to put the lights out on this man's cities, man. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. And that's what's happening right now. You're being exposed. All right. And the whole creation is going to rise up against you, man. Hey, the Lord's going to even put um, the spirit on these animals to uh, attack you, man. You know, because they're waiting for that great fist feast that was promised to them. The Lord said to you, uh, you know, to the beasts of the field, to the fowls of heaven, it says, come that you may eat the flesh of kings and of princes and of horsemen and them that ride upon them, you know, or horses and them that ride upon them, you know, roughly paraphrasing that scripture, man. The Lord promised this creation that they're going to be able to feast on your flesh, man. The slain of the Lord shall be many. The scripture says the slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth to the other, man. Because you've been you've been um, oppressing creation, you've been oppressing the animals, nature itself, and they're gonna want a piece of your ass, and they're gonna get it. All right, you know, the increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked of a wicked man, from Yahweh and his heritage appointed unto him by Yahweh. Right, and his church is also say if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, man. So you so the few eighty miles that are still having babies, well your children have no future other than destruction and then being reborn into slavery, you know. But yeah, this 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 Edomite, he's a loose cannon, man. That's why I played that clip from the movie Falling Down, man. You know, because this man's about to go buck wild, man. Because He's pretty much lost everything. You know, as I go throughout this earth, man, it, you can feel the throughness, man. You know, whether it's on the job, you see Esau trying to be petty, you know, because his power is gone. 
you know, you know, you go to the, you know, any bars and restaurants, you see Esau looking at you and shit, mad because the chicks are digging you and nobody even wants to even talk to him. You know, it's a transition of power, man. All right. The Lord's giving it to, to whose right it is, man. You know, we're the sovereigns. He, as the scripture says, woe to the world when the king is a child. Blessed is the old land when I, when I, uh, when thy king is the, the the son of nobles. The Lord's raising those nobles back up, man. All right. Why? Because of unrighteousness for un, uh, um for riches God this by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another, man. All right. <laughs> you know. Oh, it says in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, ill dealings shall overthrow the thrones of, of the mighty. And the scripture says, upon whom has thy wickedness not passed continually, man? All right, so you're guilty of, of blood, man, you know, pursuing the numbers 35 and 33, man. So you're going to have to pay for that. It's a blood debt, all right? And you're going down, but this devil is not going to go down without a fight. He's not going to. It's like a vampire movie, man. First the vampire, he's this handsome guy. Everybody loves him. You know, chicks, they, they start going to his house, but then they end up coming up missing. All right, then you got I'm thinking about the movie Fright Night. <laughs> That's exactly what the movie was about. You had the damn vampire. He was this handsome guy. You know, you saw a chick come to his house, his... You had to put the nosy neighbor, who was a young boy, which is likened unto the prophets. The nosy neighbor was peeping and watching and saw him basically kill the woman, man, and saw that he was dumping bodies out the back, man. So he was like, look, I'm going to expose this guy, man. All right, nobody believed him at first, and eventually he got exposed. And what happened? He turned to a damn monster. He went from being a handsome guy to a monster. <laughs> uh, and tried to just slaughter everybody, man. And that's how Esau's going out. See, vampires never go out pretty, man. They they don't go out, you know, a uh, movie Fright Night. Dude was saying, like, no vampire goes out the same, man. Not Fright Night. Um, Lost Boys. I'm thinking about 80s vampire movies now. But um, he basically was like, look, these vampires, they don't all go out. Some of them go out, exp uh, they explode. Some of them catch on fire, you know. And they never go out pretty, man. And that's how Esau is going out, man. He's not going out gracefully at all, man. You know, things are becoming more debaucherous in the world. You know, he's using his media. It's getting more vile, you know. Why? Because he's he's going down, man. You know. You no, know, hence the hence the name of that movie, Falling Down. You know. But yeah, man, it's a little lesson I wanted to do. Um, yeah, Shalom.